publicly deny dating teenagers as an adult man. He says it is a plot against him, tweeting this today. The forces of evil will lie, cheat, steal, even inflict physical harm if they believe it will silence and shut up Christian conservatives like you and me. His brother Jerry goes so far as to say that Roy Moore is being persecuted just like Jesus Christ was. And Alabama State Auditor Jim Ziegler, a Republican, dismissed the allegations by invoking Joseph and Mary, telling the Washington Examiner, Mary was a teenager and Joseph was an adult carpenter. They became parents of Jesus. There's just nothing immoral or illegal here, maybe just a little bit unusual. The behavior alleged here in this case is actually all three. Illegal, immoral, and unusual. But there's not going to be a trial that determines a verdict. The statute of limitations is long gone. So we are left with one last question. Who do you believe? So let's discuss now these allegations against Judge Roy Moore and his insistence that they're false. With Trenton Garman, he's an attorney for the judge who also represents the Foundation for Moral Law, which was founded by Roy Moore and his wife. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I have to uh, ask you, Trenton, you are considering legal action against the Washington Post on behalf of Roy Moore for another story they published, but I, I want to ask you about these new allegations of sexual misconduct. Why would Lee Korfman or the other accusers make up a story like this? Yeah, man, it's great to be on here, Don. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Hope that I'll be able to give you the name Don Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, right? Gonna make, take it easy on me. It's my understanding from my conversation, though, with your producer that we were going to be talking about the Foundation for Moral Law and the Washington Post and the prior misrepresentations of the Foundation for Moral Law's conduct. So not necessarily the um, accusations are brought up today. So I represent Kayla Moore in the Foundation for Moral Law. And of course, Roy Moore and his campaign will handle the, um, the allegations that have been brought against him. I've known Roy my whole life, believe that there is no better man. So i um, glad to be here, glad to process that with you. But that was my understanding of what we'd be talking about. So what, then what is your take then? I'm sorry, that's your understanding. My understanding is that you came on to talk about all of this. So what is your take on this Roy Moore story in the Washington Post? Sure. Again, you need to refer back to what the campaign has said. But I will say knowing Roy personally for essentially my entire life, that uh, I trust Roy. I know no better man. And so defending the Foundation for Moral Law and the way that it has operated and advancing uh, truth as far as the foundation's perspective on moral law, the importance of ensuring that a jury is allowed to hear some of these allegations that have been made about how the foundation has been conducted is uh, what I have spoken with uh, Chief about and also what I've spoken with Kayla about. And uh, that's what we sent a recanting letter over to the Washington Post on and have not received a response. Have you uh, spoken with Roy Moore today? I have I've spoken with him twice today. You've spoken with him twice. And what is he to turn that, that monitor back on up there, please. What does he and what does he say about these allegations? I don't have control of the monitor. No one here does. So whoever's in the studio would have to do sure, that. Sure, that's cool. Yeah, okay. no worries. So that. so what yeah, did you I, go on. Okay. Yeah, I spoke with him twice today. You know, Roy, again, is a family friend. Love Roy, highly respect Roy. And I've got a five-year-old daughter that is at home in bed. And so if one were to do what is alleged, then uh, it would be inappropriate. But Roy has come out denying it, and I believe Roy, and I believe that we've had some wise politicians that have deferred judgment and have said if, and we've had some others that have not allowed the process to work its way out. And I think that you... You know, Don, do an excellent job, love CNN. I'm a card-toting libertarian, but I think you do a great job of pulling out facts as they arise. And so, uh, you know, I believe that as this story continues to unfold from both sides, that what you're going to see is you're going to see momentum gained by Roy. You're going to see him be elected. And this is me as a friend to the family, not as counsel. I'm representing right now for the purpose of putting the Washington Post on notice uh, a an offer to them to not have us run the courthouse but just put back out there a recanting of what you have published uh, that was in fact just not accurate and not true. So let me ask so you that's, something. That's the, let, me, let me ask sure. you, so we have a limited time here and I, I'm sure okay. we're probably going to go long producers so just, just so you know. Um, so I asked okay. a couple questions at the top of the show and I said to you uh, Trenton that uh, you know from personal experience I know how hard it is for people to come forward. No one knows except for Lee Korfman and Judge Roy Moore exactly what transpired. But usually victims don't make these things up and it's hard for them to come forward. 
knowing as a, ch a survivor of childhood sexual abuse, I did not tell my mother until I was 30 years old. Why would she or any of these women make up these stories? And my question at the top of the show was, if you were a father, you said you have a five-year-old at home. If that five-year-old, fast forward to the future, turned into a 14-year-old and told you the story that Ms. Korfman said, would you believe her or would you believe the man? Well, the, the way the question is postured, I think, is unfair to what you're trying to draw out of this. I, w I will say this, Roy, Why is it unfair? every district attorney, Why is it unfair? and every judge that has, let me answer the answer, that every judge that has heard those type of cases or prosecuted on behalf of victims definitely understand your perspective and what you're saying. So you'll again need to refer back to the campaign's response. I mean, this is four decades later. So I think it's a both and. I think it's both people get falsely accused mm -hmm. and there are victims of molestation. It's, it's horrible. It's unspeakable mm -hmm. to think that those things go on. But both are true. It's not an either or. And I think that a wise mind that allows for there to be process implemented uh, doesn't knee jerk but listens to what unfolds and there are things that are going to I unfold, understand but I think that the, the campaign is going to I understand to allow, that but the, uh, here's uh, that's why I said specifically talking, at the top of the and, show and what I said specifically sure. is a conversation it's not a monologue yeah what I said I specifically at the top of the show was that the statute of limitations is run out so there will be no judge and jury there will be no process the yeah. process is that a woman okay. has come forward I hear you on the record but uh, hey Hey, Don, lemon squeeze, you keep it easy. Here's the thing, it's man. It's just lemon. My mom run, didn't name me. Hold so on. My I, mom didn't name me Don Lemon. Keep it easy, squeezy. It's just Don Lemon. Go on. I got you, man. So mm -hmm. I'm, what I'm saying, Don, is that that is just not a factual or legal opinion that's correct. Uh, the, the truth of it is, as someone representing the Foundation for Moral Law and Kayla Moore, we have asked news outlets to represent both sides of the story. There is out there now uh, the opportunity to report, even as it relates to these most recent, recent things, uh, a two-sided part of it. You know, one of which mm -hmm. includes uh, Mrs. Courtman at the time probably being 17 and not 14. Okay. But again, the judge has adamantly denied it, and I believe the judge, a four-decade long wait, is um, unfortunate. But um, you know, the truth is there are both and. There are both false accusers and there are people who are the victims of child molestation. Okay. God forbid that uh, you know, this continue in our world. Unfortunately, we live in a very fallen world. Mm -hmm. And so I always seek to advocate truth and righteousness. And so I believe the righteous thing to do at this point in time is to allow the process to work its way out. And Judge but that's what I, that, that was my question, Trenton. Moore. Forgive me for jumping in here, but that's what mm -hmm. I asked you, you sure, know, okay. a minute, two minutes ago. What is the process? I've already told you the statute of limitations has run out. So what's the process? Well, the process, and that, again, is inaccurate. The process is investigative reporting. What is it? What's sides. inaccurate? And the process is Judge Moore moving forward uh, with his campaign. You'll have to talk to his campaign. No, 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 no. Specifically, with, hold on. You said that okay. that's inaccurate. What's inaccurate? That the statute of limitations has run out? That's inaccurate? Well, what, what you're asking me is for a legal opinion in an issue that I have not been told no, I brought I, on for. That's not what I asked you. I asked you, you keep saying let the process play out. I'm wondering what the process is. That's okay. what I want to know. I got you. Uh, well, the process here is both sides reporting and Judge Moore continuing his campaign and being elected on December the 12th and us going against the Washington Post for okay. the false accusations. Just to gain some understanding, so you mean the political process? People who have now, Don, I'm still talking. No, no I'm just asking you, you mean the political process? Is that what you're talking about? Then offered money as false accusers to do this and there has now been reports that have come so out. Do you she mean was the political the process? 17, do you mean the political process? And there's a process? history of her bringing false accusations against pastors and false accusations against people in the past. So there are both, and there are both false accusers and there are victims. For you to contextualize this as simply a victim story, I think is not okay. in line with the ethics of reporting. That's fine. So there I, are both. That's and. fine. Chief Justice Swarmore is you, asking you to do your job and to draw out the facts from both sides. Okay, you said and a lot here, but let's. Hold Hold on. If you, so if you slow that. down, we can talk. We can have a conversation. Okay. So you said. Yeah, I'm talking. It's, it's uh, part of back and they, forth. You, and you've I'm done a lot of things. So the process, you, you, mean the okay. you mean the political process. Is that what you're saying? You're not talking about the legal process. 
Well, I'm, I'm talking about right now, uh, you and the reporters that are covering stories like this working at the process, number one. And in the political process, I've said again and again and again, uh, Judge Moore, I believe, is going to be elected on December the 12th, but you will have to get with his campaign about that. I, I recorded the telephone conversation that I had with CNN earlier, and I was asked to come on to simply talk about the Foundation for Moral Law, Kayla Moore, and the accusations made by the Washington Post. Well, I apologize and for that. you get me on here and you change... Okay, you change the you change the scheme of it, and that's totally okay. But again, it's yeah. a both and both there are false yeah. accusers, and there are people who molest children. Yeah. I stand by Judge Moore, and I fully believe him when he says that he did not do that. I fully believe him one hundred percent, and I believe as the story continues to develop, the facts well, are that lady was seventeen, not fourteen. Okay, Trenton, there are now people that say they were offered money. I'm still talking by the Washington well, Post. You're still talking, but you're now you still have no, number one. You're still talking. But so, you haven't answered the question. Yeah. I said, is a political process? And you said, I well, think I he's going to go question. on. No, I you, think I gave an didn't. answer that you may not is have preferred. No, but you I didn't, didn't really okay, answer the question. The question. So the, the question is, to work when out, you say no. the process to work out, you're talking about a political process or are you talking about a legal process? I'm talking about the process of the news media reporting on what the phone conversation I had earlier with Jeff, your producer, uh, was supposed to it be is my understanding is my producer said they wanted to talk to you about this particular story and we would also uh, okay the beauty is the other I have it recorded so okay, well, I, that's I know fine. how that works that's fine we'll give you the opportunity so, to talk it's about not the a other joke you know we'll give you the opportunity actually, to talk about the other thing because I'm in Florida disclosed it so yeah you, so, you'll need to talk to the campaign judge judge has denied it the facts so where, indicate as they come out now that this the only alleged victim in this situation, again, to both ends, it's horrendous if a young person against her consent has something like that happen. So where again, is the evidence? And so objective reporters report things if, like she was 17, not 14. She's made false accusations Trenton, in the past. That is indeed Thousands the case. Thousands of dollars have been offered to Trenton, people. Let me assure you, bear if witness that is falsely indeed the case. So you said that you've said that three or four times. Trenton. I'm telling you that we've you've said it three or four Post times, and you have to let me get in here so that you can, so that you, uh, you have to respond to the questions. You have said the exact same okay. thing three or four times. Okay, so it, again, it's not well, a monologue. I'm, you must so not be my, here. So my question is now. If that is indeed the case, you can better believe that the news it's media, not a question. the yeah, news media will you're, you're report it out. What you're framing. If you will let me, if you <laughs> okay. let me finish, I can ask you a question. Yes, sir. So the ahead. question is, you said okay, that no. she was 17 instead of 14, and that she has other allegations uh, that she made up. Okay, so where is that information? Sure. Where are you can getting I that information to from? That? Well, again, let, let me respond to each segment of it. Uh, number one, I said there is out there an investigative opportunity for people to discover whether she was 17 or 14. Again, the door is closed as it relates to Roy, Chief Justice Roy Moore, and his denial of it. He says it didn't happen. But if, in fact, she lied even about the age at the time, just like she's lied in the past, what it does, it actually but how do you know she lied in the past if you're uh, saying I'm it's out talking. there? Do you have, do you have hey, concrete Don, information hey, Don, that I'm she is? Talking, she is. I know you're still talking, I but you, you, again, you've said I, the same it, thing. This is now actually, the fifth time I think you've said okay. the same thing. So I'm asking you for the proof uh, no, and the evidence. Be different, I'm asking you for off. the proof and the evidence okay. that she lied. Where did you get that information? And then we can move on or we can discuss it. You're saying it's out there. Yeah, Just saying it's out there doesn't prove anything. I get you, man. Hey, my point was this, Don. It actually diminishes, if these allegations are false, people who are really victims. I get that, man. I, I get the fact, but it's a both fan. The Foundation for Moral Law and Kayla Moore have been slandered by the Washington Post. That is why I'm on here. There is no doubt we have written proof, confirmation of it. And the process itself, as it relates to the foundation, and you have to talk to the campaign about Chief Justice Roy Moore, okay. but the process itself, I'm asking you and other news outlets to allow for it to work its way out. Be objective. Uh, here we've given the Washington Post, the Alabama Media Group. We've also given uh, one of the political organizations the opportunity to recant their false reporting. Uh, prior to this coming out that related to the foundation, that related to Kayla, that even related to, to Chief Justice. I'm going to be talking with my law partner, Flint Lydon. We're going to be processing what it would look like to move forward uh, as it relates to filing suit. These, these 
These people don't run to the courthouse. I've been trying to convince them since 2015 to file a lawsuit over all these slanderous accusations that are out there against them. And mm. they keep telling me, no, 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 because these are good people. So it's a both and. Both people falsely accuse, because I've seen it time and time again. I've been around the legal practice my entire life, 38 years old, been around it for about 20, been practicing for about 10. Yeah. And I have seen false accusers. You would be surprised at the number of them, and I've also seen victims. No, I wouldn't be surprised. And this is a story Chief that I've covered. Moore was this a district a attorney that, that I have helped covered prosecute a lot and people who were accusers what you're through saying. perjury and trials like that, and also the yeah. victims of sexual molestation. So, so just, he's dedicated his just career one more question for you. to be an ambassador of justice. Yeah. So what I'm encouraging you to do is process that out mm -hmm. in an objective way. Rather than misrepresent something to somebody, get them on a television show yeah. when I've got a recorded phone call and then tell me, just spent, oh, it was about A, just B, now let's talk about more C. than a minute talking about the reason that you initially wanted to come on and talk about it, and I let you talk about it for probably about two minutes. Well, now. I didn't want. I was asked yeah. to come on, okay. and I'm honored to be here, Don. I'm enjoying the process well, It's, it's good you. to have you. But hope I have to ask you. Hope you didn't get offended, man, no, when I called you lemon squeezy. I was just joking. I'm not you look offended. Like a guy that I went to West Point with. I'm so. not offended. It's just, I love, I just I love think CNN. It's just, I love watching you. You're man. still. I'm still talking, so I'll use your words now. It's okay. Just, sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. I just. Think it's kind of hard with the earpiece here, too. Yeah. I, I apologize. I understand. Okay. I just think it's disrespectful okay, to call no. people out of their name. I wouldn't call you some other name I'm other sorry. than yours. Yeah. Okay. So listen. Well, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to be actually. An encouraging thing, but go ahead. I'm going to ask you this. So, if you want yes, others to believe that maybe she's not telling the truth and there is something wrong with her story, so I'm going to ask you what if she did? What if she is right? What if she is telling the truth? Then what do you think should happen? Here's what I think should happen The Foundation for Moral Law and Kayla Moore should proceed with testing <clears throat> the allegations that have been made against them and uncovering the lies that have been made about the foundation. I think the voters should focus on the issues and not allow for what could be and I think is a tactic to distract from whether the Constitution and whether the Declaration of Independence are going to be advocated for in Washington. So again, so there what are do you both, think should happen both to accusers that are false Judge and there Roy are victims. Moore if she is indeed telling the truth. Roy has spent his life advocating for victims and Roy has spent his life ensuring that truth is uncovered. Okay. So I okay, would encourage Trenton. people to focus on December 12th on the issues as they are and not these sidebars because that that clearly you still didn't answer after my question. 40 years are you going to answer a the question? Credible question to ask. Are you going to answer really the question? I didn't really understand it cuz my question is if she is telling the truth what should happen? What should happen to Roy Moore? Sure, and if, if who is telling the truth? If Ms. Corfman is telling the truth. Well, in an objective setting, if, if someone is telling the truth in that situation, the process would bear itself out. <laughs> so I don't, know the, I don't know the question you're asking of me as far as the yeah. intent. But I, I think my question setting. is very direct. If she's telling the truth, she was 14, he was 32, and he sexually assaulted her. I think it's pretty clear that that was my question. What should happen to him? I mean, I think it, you know. Here, here, here's my response to that. you. If she's not telling the truth, what should happen? That, that wasn't my question. I understand what you're saying. In, in any objective setting, yeah. if someone is molested, there should be an opportunity to evaluate that. If someone is falsely accused, there should be an opportunity to evaluate that. Chief Justice Roy Moore has adamantly denied. Chief Justice Roy Moore has a 40-year stint between this <coughs> accusation and here it is less than a month before the election and in my opinion uh, this is yet another distraction that has been thrown up and as the facts come out which I pray you'll report on uh, to include prior false accusations made mm -hmm. by her again it's a both and both there are false accusers okay, Trenton, and there are victims you've made that you've, you've, take both you've of those said that trails. you've said that about false accusations a number of times uh, with no proof. And just, sure. just remember, there's a lot of praying to go no, no, around well, hold on. In, in this situation. We're not here I, presenting a case go. to a jury. The proof is out there, but you, you need to research it out. So again, I was told that I was going to be coming here to talk about the Foundation for Moral okay, Law, Trenton, the thank Washington you. you said this Post is like your seventh false. time saying that. Thank you, Trenton Garman. We appreciate <laughs> okay. it. Bye -bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Up next. While some Republicans keep saying wait and see about Roy Moore's allegations, others say get out now. Is the party facing a default?